all right welcome back to the channel guys i'm here with my good friend and pupil stango and we are doing uh this is a true heroes exact list apparently from nationals where he got second place so i'm calling this episode my diva hero a love letter to a true hero stango is going to be piloting i'm just going to be backseat driving as i do and yeah we're here to have some some fun with this very tried and true list uh stango do you want to say anything about it before we get into some some duel no just it's diva hero s tier deck yes deck. s tier deck s tier you hear that s tier deck now yes um one person made me change my mind on how i felt about this deck and that is that is the power of a player so yeah let's just get into a duel because people know what the hell diva hero is by now you know like you you know what yeah. this deck is you yeah. know what we're trying to do now i am i am not the diva hero expert obviously but you actually play with and against cairo a lot so you yep. he always says that stango does know a bit about how my deck functions because of all the experience you have against it and that makes a lot of sense so yeah i mean he uh he he says like uh pretty much in the way the way he he sees it he thinks he knows the most about the deck and he thinks i'm like pretty much right up there mm -hmm. with like second most knowing because of how much we play yeah just so familiar with like what plays mean what and what hands look like this and you guys are able to identify those otks and all that stuff too yeah well, we know the we know the classic old diva hero TK. Mm -hmm. Let me turn up the dual sounds a little bit. There we go. Now I can hear. Okay, okay black wings. Tough matchup. Ah oh, yes. God. Ah yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we have to really hope for a few things. Don't search Kalut. Okay, that's 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 already a bad thing. Yep. Because I was assuming I'm gonna have to MST the set, but now now things have changed. So hopefully that back row is just Icarus attack, right? Yeah, so it's just got to be Prodigy, Caius, Monster, Attack, so, MST, this thing maybe. So how do you how do you feel about MST the hmm, if you MST the back row, the face down one, and then Caius the shore, you have bottomless for the next summon. Okay. And then you have Diva follow up too. So like this turn you deal thirty four. The next turn you could potentially kill him. Maybe depending on what we draw. But yeah. you are right about that. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, shit. I wanted to MST that back row. This bait's out of pressure, though, right? Yeah, but... This is what... Okay, go ahead. I think this is a little... Go ahead. Yeah. You can't play MST now, because then you can get Icarus attack. No, no, I know I know that. Yeah. I know that. I was seeing if I could burn him for eight. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Okay, so right. now I think... Wait, wait. What do you think about MSTing the back row now? So... Because I really I don't want the back row the to be there. The situation's changed a lot, and you don't want to lose Kaya. So Correct, because because we're, we're, going we're I want the thirty four hundred damage. Is how I feel. Okay, I'm f I'm about it. Yeah, let's see what happens. Hopefully, it's not fucking Book of Moon. I'm gonna be annoyed, but okay, it is the prison, so he was going to stop us. Okay, now maybe we just set both. And mm, set both. I think the I think setting both. Can give you the best upside if you draw like Miracle Fusion right here, right now. Not, not only draw so Miracle Fusion would be game with the return set, but the other thing I was thinking is like I don't want him to MST the one bottomless and then summon mm, a monster and then get in. Right, because okay. what if he just does what we just did to him, right? Like, okay, sure. So you want to insulate against MST? Yeah, because he's MST not gonna. I don't think this person's gonna heavy storm their whirlwind right now. Maybe they will. Okay, well this is just dropping to hell, like straight to hell. Yep, be gone with you. And now we just don't believe him. Yeah, we don't. We do not. We oh, it's not. on like Donkey Kong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, I mean, there's no way. There's no way that we're going to have fun in the sun. Oh, this is, this so, is hilarious. We're going to try to make Stardust first. Of course. Yeah, so. All right. There's like no way, right? God, are okay. you there? Okay. So this is get Gilman. Yep, this definitely get Gilman. All right, where are we at? Okay. Okay. Um, things are happening. Yep. I mean, I'm I'm going for game. Yes. Yep. All okay. Right. Let's see. Oppression. Oppression here. Okay. Okay. I well, mean, we came this far. That... I mean, we came like we came this far. Yeah. No. It's uh, I. I don't know what you actually need to have to not lose here. 
I it's not you don't have a lot though, that's for sure. Um I mean, so interesting. I think we save the return in case it's another deep person. Correct. Right? I think we go yep. Gilman first, then three thousand guy after. Yep. Stardust is the key to protecting this this kill. Yep. So we don't want to attack with Stardust unless we absolutely have to. So let's go in with this 17, see what happens. This is a tough spot for him. It is. Things got out of hand very quickly. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. I fucking felt it, man. I was like, literally, I just want to put him on a two turn clock. We have a summon stop. We have an MST to clear the so that the Kaya's damage goes through. It worked yeah. out perfectly. And then the miracle off the top, which is mwah, mwah. Yeah, the miracle off the top was just really, really, I mean, that was, it, it was just lucky, but as you say all the time, but yeah, you, you need luck to win. You you have to. I mean, that, he opened that, up that whirlwind that was, that was definitely like you're seven rounds in. You need to go eight, you know. Yep. And like that, that's when it tells you. All right, so this this. Yeah, definitely those. So this. how do you feel about yeah? So how do you feel about Dust Shoot and Mind Crush and Deck Devi going second against Black Wings? Because I feel like all three of those can just kick rocks, right? Maybe not Mind Crush. Okay, Mind Crush maybe not, but. Deck Devi, I don't imagine you keep. No, and I and don't I like Dust Shoot against the guy that just. Yeah, he just set so many back row just now out of nowhere. Um, I don't like that he did that. So. Okay. Uh, um. What else is? So we could be looking at siding out Solemn or a Sark. Solemn is slow. definitely pretty bad going second against Black Wings. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't played a deck with Solemn Judgment in so long that I, my mind is not really there. In terms of that, yeah. but yeah, I think that I think this is good. I don't know. He doesn't start smashing around against his deck, right? No, I don't think he does. Okay. Um, I think we're good. Like I think I honestly think we're good. I think we're even good with the gold sarks. I see you hovering over them because we're going second. But like, gold sark to me at least says it's going to bridge the gap for your diva hero hands. Yeah, uh, for the brick hands. Right. Like Ooh. this is an awkward hand where you have some gas, but a little bit more wouldn't hurt. Yeah, for sure. My man, opening up a lore every game. Did he open up that game one? He did. He he banished Moro, you're right. And he banished Moro again. Moro win. I mean, stop. Not, <laughs> the, same, not the same exact <laughs> opening. <laughs> you said remake. Remix. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a little more subtle this time. All right. So Gold Sark is going to have to do some work. If I'm Cairo, oh. a heavy storm is probably getting Gold Sarked. Oh. Oh. oh, I think a heavy storm is getting gold sarked, and I think a greffer is getting gold sarked or Rhoda, because that mm. gives me more options for both directions. Yeah, this is interesting because you could also gold sark for a heavy of future fusion. Future fusion is not that good here. Mally's in the hand. Uh, but so is plague spreader. Uh, plague spreader. You see in that? Hand. Mind control is monster. Make a thing with with plague spreader, and then plague spreader is engraved. Then activate plague spreader. Put the malicious on top, and then banish malicious on malicious. So you can actually. Cute. Okay, I see it. So yeah. I think Heavy Storm Future Fusion then. Yeah, I think I think I might be on to something. I don't know. Like I No no no, you're right. You saw it. You saw the line. Okay. That was good. You definitely saw the line. No, the big part is just not dying, and I think we just passed with open field. Yeah, I think he's on set value. I I don't think we're anywhere close to dying. Alright. We have the ultimate combo reverse of Rue hand. So let's see what happens. Okay. Setting a Kalut. What the yeah, fuck does that's that mean? a bit much. Does he have Blizzard in hand? All right. Interesting. So. Yeah, it's like, how much do we want to play? Because we probably need to play a little bit. I'm thinking about two things here. I'm thinking about. Give just me a thinking emoji then, real quick, so just yeah. as a courtesy. Yeah, I'm thinking about two things here. I'm thinking about playing a little bit with Diva because I want to still save the plague for that play you were saying. Right. That's definitely the play. Um, so Diva, maybe German Econ. Being specifically defensive with just Econ and just reducing damage. I right, think. right, like making where he can't kill you. But I, yeah. I think the thing is, it's very interesting. Um, so we have two normal summons. We can only use one next turn. So, so I think that our hand's telling us that we have to play then. Yeah, we can only or use one normal we summon. Should. Yeah, we only have one normal summon next turn. So maybe it's D.Va. Get Gilman, Econ take, try to black rose him or something. Yeah, something like, like maybe that. yeah, because that's not that's also not bad. Um hmm. This is a tough spot. Diva get Gilman. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean we could we could go for it. Let's see what happens when we summon Diva. Okay. 
We are here. Okay. Okay. So, so now we go econ take this. See what happens. Yeah. I mean, this is where we're at. Yeah, those our, like, our decision The is... other alternative we can go Android if we think we can get it through, but Right. We're only using two cards, so if he Icarus is as well, it's a two for two. I'm fine with that. So yeah, let's try this. Like if he Icarus is this, this is fine. Yep. Okay. Do you want to attack with his Soroko? Because what the fuck is he going to do to his Soroko? Yeah, I want to attack, but I, I also don't know if I want a Black Rose effect. Because now I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little skeptical now. Okay, well, I at least want to attack with Soroko, then we can discuss later. Yeah. Some, wait, wait, Soroko. Soroko. Yeah, yeah, just Soroko. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, do not. Because D-Prison the prison makes this uh, <laughs> yeah. a, a big punish. True, true, true. Very true. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want a Black Rose. I can't. It's like Black Wings is a back row deck. I can't think of that many back rows that I'm. I was allowed to do all that. Yeah. I I, uh, I went into Bottomless. I went into Mirror. I went into Mirror Force. I mean, even if he even if he does have Starlight Road, which I, I, I really oppression. I don't. Well, they, if they had oppression. They would not let us get this. Well, mirror. the thing is, is that if he has Starlight Road, it makes our next turn play not as clean. It does, but just, I just we can't just heavy storm anything. Do I believe that that's Starlight Road though? I just don't believe that Stango. I really don't. Well, what what is it, what else is it? A double D prison or something? Like, I don't I don't know. It's I don't think that it's that. I just don't think it's Starlight Road. I, I guess I'm just tripping maybe, but I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. All right. I, I don't well, think it's Starlight Road. Do we do we have to Black Rose? Like, do we have to use the effect? You're saying put it on the field because yeah. that's that is what we're doing. So put it on the field, and then use thinking emoji. Yeah, well, you could also technically say... Uh, yeah, I mean, I could be more ambiguous with it, but it's like, it stays well, here. Or, or well, you it. should you should really... Because he could negate the summon. Ask him if the summon's good, because I, I would appreciate that part. Okay. So, you think he's on Starlight Road, which I'm like, why the fuck would you have Starlight Road against this deck? Like, I would side that out against Diva Hero, personally. I would too, but it's like... I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. The but problem it's like, is that you can't gauge how good any Blackwing player is because they're all just fucking average. So it's like, it's really hard to tell if this person's good enough to even know to side out Starlight Road. I think I, I'm I, just going to do it. Yeah. I, I want to declare because that's just how I play. Like, I'm not, I'm just not afraid. Yeah. I'm just doing it. If they Starlight Road, they Starlight Road. Like, you got it. Okay. Yeah. He kept on Starlight Road against Diva Hero, which is fucking terrible. Yep. And. Okay, well, well, we're fine. Like, we'll just we'll, we'll just have to hope that it doesn't uh make us lose. Yeah, like that's <laughs> just so bad. See, it's actually so so funny because I think you think of this in some ways, but you were like, "Well, Starlight Road shouldn't be there." I'm like, "What does he know that?" What well, I said that, <laughs> like I li I literally said that. Like, yeah, this, this like, person, is that, it, you can't tell how good a Blackwing player is because they're all just the same. Like. They know how to summon Blackwing and play Whirlwind, and like, there you go. Yep. All right. Well, we're about to find out who's yes. real and who's not. Here we are. Okay. Um, well, at this point, at this point, heavying is just whatever. Um, right. But we can still do the future fusion play, and if we can get a Stardust to stick, we can stick a Mirror Force behind it. Yeah, I guess the the, the worst part is that uh, we only play one level five monster, right? Ye no, we, only we play have one, Android one level one level, one level seven. seven. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. gonna say. So we yeah, only play we one, one level Android. seven, so we can't. Yeah, we can't make anything with Plague. So this is like worst case scenario that the play was followed up with a Blizzard. Um, let's see. Do we want to? If you mind control Stardust, that doesn't really do anything. It just forces the heavy through. And then Future Fusion doesn't do anything, I don't think. And then you just have uh, to We can gain some life. And then that's bigger than Stardust. What do you mean? So, like, we can mind control the Stardust, Heavy Storm, get it through. We make Thought Ruler, gain 24. How do we make Thought Ruler? I'm not seeing it. Uh, we do the Future Fusion. Oh, wait, no. And yeah, we can't get Plague has to be in here. Yeah. yeah, we can't get... Oh, our hand's actually shit. We can't do anything. Oh, wait, hold on. If you if you mind control then heavy, then summon plague and crash into... Oh, wait, we can't crash. Fuck, our life is low as hell. I just noticed that. Okay, I think you do need a heavy storm. Okay. I, th I think we need to do this at least. I, I just thought... Because, like, we have mirror force, and we need him to use a Stardust Dragon. Okay, well, I think it's just time to go to the next game, right? Because... Yeah, I mean, he's going to set back plague, and 
I mean, we don't have see a play. It's Mirror Force. I mean, let's just play it out. No, no, let's no, just no, see. no, no, no. I don't even want to give the information. I don't even want to give the okay. information. I think, I think we just accept. Sure thing. All right. So, uh, let's see. Unfortunate circumstance. Yeah, I mean, it was just worst case scenario. Also, again, I just don't understand why there's a Starlight Road <laughs> in your deck against Diva Hero. There's really nothing for you to Starlight Road except the fucking Heavy Storm. So, there's that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Dushu can go back in going first. Yep. Uh, we can deck Debbie. Sure. That's actually not bad against this deck. Let me just have to see what is coming out for it. Yeah. So Spirit Reaper is not good against this deck, right? Like, it just can't be. No, um, I don't think so. And then we have Double Dust. Do we need Double Dust? Probably not. Maybe just one is fine. Just get rid of one. Yeah. One's good for me. Yeah. Because the cards we're putting in are like, win the game cards. Yeah, Dust is too much dueling. Okay, uh, Future Fusion. Yeah, very awkward hand. This is a diva hero hand, so it de yeah, definitely has to be that, right? Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Definitely, definitely this. All right, this um, MST is getting set, right? Yeah, we're just not trying to get whirlwind out of here. Yeah. Real quick, like. Yep. Rolling short again. Yep. Dashi, please. Dashi, one time. Yep. All right. Two games on a real dueling book. Double sarcophagus. Like, what is this? Yep. Okay. Uh. I literally don't even know what you get. Well, I mean, we're activating it. So. Yeah. No, I know that. I just don't know. Let's get it right in front of our face. Hmm. So we're getting future fusion one turn. I don't hate Caius. Like, banish for Mali, but then that makes our Miracle of Fusion dead if, like, we get a Prussian or something. I also have never seen Cairo, Sark, of Mali, or Akaius in my life. I've never seen that. Never seen it either. May, um, Situation's not totally off base for it. God, there's so many cards that are, like, okay, but we're, we're talking about the turn after Future Fusion at this point. Yeah. So, what's the best thing that can happen for the turn after D.Va? Just a really strong normal summon, just D.Va um, with brain control. Yeah, I was D.Va's interesting. I was thinking I was scared to take out tuners because I kind of want to draw a tuner with brain control in my hand. But you have four tuners and also three Kaya. So it's like taking out one is not the worst. Uh, yeah, it's not the worst. So what do you think of D.Va? I don't know, because don't we want to draw a D.Va next turn, theoretically? Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm like, I'm like... Something's telling me a little bit towards Caius, because it's definitely not another Miracle Fusion. It's no traps. It's not Dark Arm. We, we're not going to have Darks. All right. You so like, all the usual candidates are gone. You want to do Caius? All right. Let's see how Caius works out for you. Yeah. That's just it's what very I'll interesting. Um, um, we're setting this return, right? Are we? Because Future Fusion gets Icarus Attack next turn if Return sitting next to it. Yeah. I guess we... So I would not do that. Keep it Personally. just follow up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, be gentle. This deck draw is so weird. Okay. Now, if we get a pressure, do we lose? So. Yes, well, that's always the case. This is the hindsight bias saying you should have went for heavy storm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then wait another turn. Which is crazy to be like. Yeah, waiting another turn is just not. It's just not in the cards to happen. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Okay. This so part went through. through. So it's gonna be Mally and a Diva. Yeah, it would have been Treeborn, but that fucker just came up. Yeah. Right. Um. And then we have to miracle now, right? Yeah, because then it makes our return better because we can get two Mallys out. So do we want to wait? Wait, wait before you click it. Do we uh do we banish Mally right now? No, because we actually will get two Mallys out on the field with the next turn if return like ends up letting us see okay. play. So you miracle now and then you banish. And then like and return then you... next turn, then these guys sink, and then another Mally comes out with like maybe our Caius that we have right, coming up. Right, right, I see that. Okay. 
Yeah. This is... So we go here now. Yeah. Okay. I'm this surprised. Is an... so all this is is... Okay. Yeah, this is an ideal situation. Okay. okay. Uh, now, where are we? So, Tree Warren doesn't need to be in our hand anymore. We haven't yeah. seen anything. Um, and like you said, Return is fine to get down. Uh, this Mind Crush now, thing. I really hate this. Because I feel like you're supposed to set Mind Crush here and call something blind. I don't know if you have to call blind. You might be able to wait. But like, what are, you, what, what are you going to set Mind Crush? You're at 4400. Like, you want to Well, keep no, I think I'm setting Mind Crush. I'm talking about, like, I don't need to... I don't think you raw, have to raw blind right, like right on draw step. Okay. You can't react. React. So how? Really so do how do you want to play? How do you want to play from here? You tell I think me. I'm honestly where I'm at is either setting everything, including the brain control, or not. I don't think you need to set brain control. That's ridiculous. You're getting a Kai's next turn. All right. Well, then I'm setting just these two and passing. What about the tree warm frog though? Did we? No, we did not normal summon. Uh. You could. I mean, we could. You could theoretically. <laughs> You could theoretically leave the Treeborn in your hand and say if you call wrong with Mind Crush, it might get discarded or something, but like, that's copium, um, to be frank. Yeah, but and then I just leave more monsters on the field if, uh, yeah, the other for, thing is like, the shore over. Right, the other thing is that if you don't put a monster on the field, your opponent can't Sirocco you, and they can't shore you. Yeah, Sirocco pump. Right, so there are some things to think about. Two. Sorry, I right, set those two. Yeah. But yeah, and this this setting if the I whole... had, If I have to mind crush, I just have to hope I'm lucky. Yeah. At this point, like I don't really actually know what's a what's a threat here. Okay. Put it in the grave. Put sure. It, put it in the grave quickly. Because that is I can't imagine that that's the right that's the right play. I just can't. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. So I think our turn actually starts with brain control. Yeah. I and then he goes Icarus. We chain return. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. where this is going. <laughs> oh man. Talk about a spot. Yep. Yep. Okay, right. uh, so Stardust? Stardust first, then. Yeah, Stardust first makes sense. Yeah, Stardust. And then we could do Kaius. Uh, Banish Malicious on priority, on summon. Yep. Okay, so yeah, now we just definitely Kaius. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, Frazier, I'm telling you right now. We get gorsed. Oh, I'll fucking lose it. I'm bro. leaving. I will fucking lose everything. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I I'm going Stango, out the back door. Stango, when I tell you, dog, <laughs> that I will literally like we will literally close the I'll shut my computer down. I won't even okay. Yeah, like <laughs> Can we watch the replay before we get out of here? That was stressful for no reason. God, that was stressful. We had strong plays though, but We did. We I I think we like it's just scary I really, how the I, I truly do think like and this is where you know maybe a discussion of like the correct play versus what I think my opponent actually did. Yeah. And I really have to be honest with you, Fraser. I really think he kept Starlight Rodan. I couldn't no, tell no, you anything yeah, that, more sure in I my understand, mind. I understand what you're saying. You you were playing based on like some weird gut feeling, and I'm playing based off of logic. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it is illogical to keep a Starlight Road against this. Look at what you're doing. Look at what about this says Starlight Road. What about what just happened says I want to. What about what just happened says I want to have Starlight Road in my deck. It's so annoying to me that like. I, I just wish people were a little better because then. 
then things would just make more sense. But because like shit like this, you can never know. Yep. And if that happened to me in a tournament, I would be upset. Like I would actually be upset if I got Starlight Road at game two playing Diva Hero after I just OTK'd you using nothing to get Starlight Road it. Like you just- got So in, in that case, um, you know, uh, because I think this would be a good learning opportunity for me and maybe people who are watching. Um, I want to challenge your, your, your logic then, right? Okay. Um, and this is not like a, what's it called? This is not like an, an ego thing. I, I genuinely wanted to just like challenge like the logic of like, like what happened here, right? Mm -hmm. So we got all the way here, right? We're yep. pretty much at the finish line of everything. And you know Black Wings in and out. Yep. And it's like at this point, right? There's bottomless, there's mirror force, there's oppression, uh, torrential even is maybe a consideration. Yep. Where? Where at what point do we do we say that like it 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 is more likely that it could be that than it is like so somehow I think the not other all thing, these other traps. I think the other thing you have to consider is how much I study the format and where it's at currently. And the most mm -hmm. popular Blackwing decks right now are running Legacy Yadagarasu. So okay. in my head, I was saying to myself, one is real, one is probably legacy. Because that's what the mm -hmm. good the good Blackwing players, that's what they're doing. They're okay. they're blatantly playing cards like Legacy Adagarasu so that situations like this that look appealing to do what we're doing are actually just not. Right? You're, you're gonna do something like Sark for Heavy Storm or make a Black Rose play, and they're like, perfect. Now I get to do this. Now I get to go bottomless and legacy. I take you know, everything is fine. Like that is exactly what I was reading mostly in my head. And I was like, there's okay. some there's some consideration for other things. Like obviously battle trap. He's not gonna battle trap his Sirocco. I think he thought when we attack with the Sirocco too, I think he like put up the thinking thing or something. Um obviously battle trap is one of them. I started thinking like Book of Moon, how far would he let us get? And then the thing was, I was like, okay, it's probably not Book of Moon because if he lets us attack with Sirocco, then when we go to main phase two, he would just book the Sirocco in my head because it's, it's attacked so it can't be flipped face up anymore and he would get it back so i was like it's probably not book of moon uh but then i was like battle so i was like okay battle trap bottomless are cards that it could be obviously because we didn't do anything that i would think would make him use either one so far like he's not deep presenting his own monster and i also don't think you bottomless the spine guilt because what the fuck does that even do right like you would hold the bottomless and say if you're going to make a level five synchro i'll bottomless that or if you're going to make a synchro with my guy you know that like some weird sinker or something uh i'll bottomless that like if you go i'm i'm summoning black rose i'm not using the effect then you go like bottomless that so i was like bottomless deep prison are obviously considerations but the other one for me and the big one was just based on what people i assume are net decking right now and what the good players are doing just playing legacies right. in their in their black wing decks uh also considerations are just back row removal in general um like him having his own dust Nado, mst those type of cards too like those are right. also considerations Right. So I, those are the cards that I was thinking like he could have. Uh, I, and, and again, logically, I'm just like, there's no way that you saw what happened game one and you've been playing Edison Foreman. I don't know how new this player is or whatever. I don't know if they've been playing for a while. I don't know if you hover over their little ratio thing, like on their name, does it tell you their points and all that? Yeah, so they could be a completely new player. I have no idea. But in my head, I was like, I can't really read this person because game one just kind of ended in a flash. Like they opened a whirlwind shore right there isn't a lot to, to to read on it right but then yeah. in my head i'm like he should know if, if you play this format enough you know when you play against diva hero like solid road is ass like it's just ass like it is <laughs> yeah. ass it, the, okay the copium is because this is what i'm sure people are probably thinking like oh well, what about absolute zero's effect that's fucking copium okay do you know that you don't even get to summon the stardust unless that shit goes back to the extra deck because you can't destroy a monster in the graveyard and you can't destroy a monster in the banish zone either so if you deprison uh bottomless or just kill the absolute zero and it goes to the grave and you starlight road the effect you don't get to summon stardust the only time you get to summon stardust on absolute zero is when it goes back to the extra deck because it can be destroyed in the extra deck and starlight road says you have to destroy the card to summon the stardust and you yep. can't destroy a card that's banished, and you can't destroy a card that's in the graveyard. So, I say all of that to say, so that road is <laughs> even more ass for the people who are like, well, what about Absolute Zero's effect? Like, that's copium. You need to have two monsters on the field and kill the Absolute Zero for one. Like, there's so many reasons why it's ass. Uh, 
<laughs> so I just, in my head, I was like, yeah, there's no way. Like I, I'm instantly removing Starlight Road out of my deck if I'm playing Black Wings and I'm, cause I also, I'm probably putting an oppression and I don't want that to conflict, right? Like there's so many reasons in my head that I'm like, it can't be Starlight Road. Right, though. it's just it rapid can't. firing at this point. It's like so many things, you know, I think very fast when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, especially. And my brain yep. is like, logically, he sided in all his oppressions. <laughs> he took out Starlight Road and, <laughs> and we're good. Like we're fucking good. Yeah, <laughs> but we're I just, sailing. But yeah, maybe I read too much into like the whole current meta of Black Wings being Legacy Yada Garasa because it really is like every single topping list right now. Um, between like, I mean, yeah, no, I mean that that is a legitimate, um, yeah, you know, point to what you're arguing as to you know why this Black Rose essentially is going to ride out. Yeah, and I appreciate that you you know are challenging me because as someone who is supposed to be teaching you and like helping you to get better at the game, I should be able to explain myself and articulate why I do the things that I do. Otherwise, what's the point, right? Like, if I'm just telling you, like, just do this. Like, that's not really helpful to yeah. anyone. Uh, but no, I, I literally had a read that it was anything but. <laughs> for all the reasons that I just <laughs> said for, like, the last yeah. seven minutes, anything but what it was. So we ended up losing yep. this game, which was unfortunate. It looks like... I'll say this. I don't, it looks like this game wasn't going to go our way no matter what because he randomly just has MST and then Drew dust you, right? That just sucks. Yeah. Like, obviously, we couldn't know any of that, but like, if we didn't, I'm surprised he didn't set the MST. I would have set the MST. I don't know. Yeah, of course. Of course, you set the MST. Because, like, that was you random. have. Yeah, because you have the trap dust you chainable and then you also have MST for the future fusion. So you just. Yeah, I, I would have 100%, but. Uh, and also, this is what. So I played at Nationals and I played um, a Black Wing player around four. Look at the life points, by the way. Um, I played the uh, Black yeah. Wing player around. Yeah, and it wasn't like that during the actual duel. Like, we were at 4,400 definitively. Yeah, it does that during replays. Let me see if I can get it correct this time. Um, I, I played a Black Wing player around four, and I remember them opening up Whirlwind Game 3, and I chose with my Frog deck to put a Dust Nerd face down, turn one, because I just knew. I just fucking knew. And I accepted that if my opponent had summoned Shore and just started attacking me while I had Dust Radio set and never set a back row, then I would just, I would accept that if I lose the game against back row less black wings, I accept. Yep. Like if you, you also just... accepted that, uh, <laughs> you also accepted is that if, um, what's his back know, row right there right now? What's that? As MST, okay. MST. I just want, I just want yep. to check. Do we know what just happened with that MST though? I'm still. It was just. It, it just wasn't right. That's, that's I, what it was. I, I literally... I, I, I guess, like... All right, so I'm going to try to decipher what, <laughs> what, I, what I saw. Don't try too hard, because this makes us worse. Uh, I think the Icarus attack, having only two cards to go after, is the logic. Is, is the only thing tangible in the field that I can see that influenced this play. Yeah, I, I can't... Because you would just MST anything else and then safely more safely set your icarus because then you don't have to worry about our starlight road which people do genuinely saw it against black wings or even the dust tornado right so this was just a rant that was just a, a full misplay maybe this guy i'm just gonna assume that uh logan logan is relatively new and yeah. and that's just what happened this 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 setup is so broken now look at how quickly he went from eight thousand to dead so quick and i thought no other deck really does things quite like this game one and game two were, or game one and game three were very similar it was two battle phases from us we didn't even yep. get to the second one really because they just they knew it was game after our first battle phase but like game yep. one 3400 kaius and then next turn like miracle fusion and all that stuff kill you and then this game yep. was just like one battle phase well, both you. games were returned by the way they were which is another lesson to you know the more love letter to a true hero is that you know <laughs> he had to fight tooth and nail to try to convince these DV hero players that return is a staple of the deck and yeah. should not be trifled with. Yeah, I mean, we did return win simply like won us the game both times. That's correct. And I also like, like that you had the foresight to see the, and this is this is what I mean when I in the beginning of the video we were talking about you know this deck a lot better because you were like oh we don't need to banish malicious here we can just wait and then use the malicious when we play to return and it actually mm -hmm. worked out perfectly and. Having the foresight to also goal Sark the Caius was good too. Like that actually worked out in our favor as well. Um, so a lot of things just went like really well. Like this 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 was well planned out with the goal Sarks and all that because I didn't see myself Sarking out a Caius. Uh, I don't know what I was gonna Sark and that's the problem. Like I just don't play this deck enough to know. It was between right. a tuner like Molly, which in this case, 
Molly would have been very good as well, but I think Caius was just straight up like broken. Better. When you mean tuner and you're saying Mally, I'm assuming you mean Diva. I meant to say uh, I meant to say Plague Splitter. Sorry. I'm Plague. Just, okay. Because I'm staring sure. at yeah, I'm staring at the the screen and I see the Diva there and I'm thinking tuner, and then I'm just see the malicious next to it. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, uh, get a tuner like Sark for a tuner. And I was trying my hardest not to do that though because I said I wanted to draw a tuner. Um, right. That was kind of my thing. So like, when you were applying that logic, I. I'm gonna be honest. Like I think overall, the Caius Sark might have even been better because of just having Brain Control in the hand already. Yeah, I, I love that. Like I love Brain Control. Um, well, here's my other fear. That wasn't even part of my consideration whatsoever. It was okay. just more so like I have a Turbo Caius play yeah. that can happen in the future. My other thing that made me scared of the the Caius thing was uh, it was contingent on us having the life points to use brain control and I, mm -hmm. if i'm being completely honest with you with the defenseless ass hand that we just had oh i didn't i didn't expect us to get I there but i never listen, thought we were gonna have i just went dog. i just went straight chiro mode i was just like well i'm doing double gold sark yep. and you better have it. yeah you, you if simply i don't said get there have it. if i don't get there in time then it is what it is yeah. <laughs> honestly and that's so you know what there's a part of my brain that has a hard time with what you guys are like you and Cairo are used to doing that i have a very hard time with that yeah that whole like oh See, I'll you're just... in the hamptons right and, you know i'm in frogville where... where my hand is defense like i have three battle faders gores like i'm the... and, and even if i don't necessarily have them in my hand the fear that i have them in my hand is enough to make my opponents pause like people are scared to overextend because the thought that i might have a battle fader or gores or whatever and so that that by itself is already enough yep Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, because particularly, because there's obviously been other success of like other Diva Hero um, deck lists, like I guess you could say archetypes, if you yeah. want to say. Yeah. Where Cairo's deck is definitely a lot more aggressive in nature. Yeah. It tries it. to do more OTKs and stuff. Yes. And the other lists play a lot more control based, where they are, you know, doing more wing blast stuff. They're running way, way, way Deep more prison. traps. They're yeah. maining snowman, like all those kind of things. And um, I think both parts of the list are valid, and it's really a play style thing is like, you know, what you're better at. And, you know, Kyra is definitely the best with this version of the deck. Like, he finds kills out of literally thin air. Yeah, I think that there's a, there's a level of confidence you have to have when you play this deck to say, I'm just going to get there. And I fucking hate doing that. As, as <laughs> If you know me, you know I don't like putting games on that mm -hmm. that's my last yep. resort for me that's a last resort with this deck it's like a normal thing yep so my brain is at odds with the very play style of the way he has this build like i am at odds with this and as you guys have seen when i played this deck because i've done videos where i play this this deck uh i'm frantic like i'm i'm like my hand is so bad I, i'm going <laughs> to die and then my opponent doesn't kill me then i kill them and i'm like that's so bad why do they yeah. die and it, you, you, you know the thing is, though, um, overall, I think even game two, we just maybe got a little unlucky on, like, how all the situations played out. We I did, because I think games... things went a little south game two for multiple reasons. Like, he had MST already. They drew Dust Shoot. It was, it was like a perfect mm -hmm. storm, but then the Starlight Road obviously was the fucking absolute icing on the cake. Yeah, I think I think all of our hands each game were actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't... I mean, Double Ghost Arc is fine. Like, you, you go first with Double Ghost Arc, because I think we went first with that, right? Is yes, we, well, we had one turn and we one, one and then right. we drew the other. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah, Gold Sark in your opening, I think, is a great thing because that just says you get to get any card of your the puzzle. Deck. It's just crazy to me to think, though, like, so you play two Gold Sarks in this deck and then the Black Wing player gets to play two Whirlwinds. And it's just not a fair, like, it's not a, <laughs> it's just not a fair equivalency at all. No, not at all. Um, but all right, we're ranting at this point, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and this post game discussion. I actually enjoyed the post game discussion more than a duel because I was frantic the entire time, every game. So <laughs> my anxiety is through the roof. I'm going to edit this, get this posted up for you guys and all that good stuff. But yeah, uh, anyways, Tango, thank you so much for this. I know you got something to do and I'm going to get out of here as well, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Let us know what you think about everything we said, everything that happened on screen. And we will catch you in the next one. Peace.